So over the last few days, I have sort of rediscovered one of my favorite YouTubers, Wellen. I've been binging back through all of his adventures on his YouTube page, and really there's so much to love when it comes to these videos. And while I was watching, I was reminded of a video that I've wanted to make for a long time, this one, the, the one you're watching now. And that is a tutorial about an effect that Wellen uses quite a bit. I don't think he uses it quite as much as he used to, but it's super effective when he does, and that is editing to the beat. Stuff like this. Do it. Now the fundamentals of this effect are pretty simple, if sometimes a little tedious to pull off. But when it comes to editing in DaVinci Resolve, there is one feature that I think can make this entire process much easier, especially for new editors. So that is what I want to talk about today. But I don't play Rust, so I'm going to be pulling in some footage for me playing Satisfactory. Update four just came out. I've been fiddling around with it. It's super fun. And in specific, I'm going to be pulling in an animation from when you are mining in that game, you hit this rock, and every once in a while that rock explodes. And it's a great sort of concrete sound effect with not too much going on. It's striking, it's bold, it's great for this sort of editing to the beat work. So let's get started. Cool, here we are in DaVinci Resolve in the edit page. And for reference, this is what our raw footage looks like. So all I did, I had several different clips like this, and all I did was go in and isolate some of these moments when our little pick here hit the rock. Like that last one. And you could do this a few different ways. Uh, Control B splits at the playhead, or if you click by default the B key, you will get this little razor blade when you can cut to isolate clips. I also have custom keyboard shortcuts set like S, which razors at playhead and Q, which trims the beginning of our clip to where the playhead is. So you have a few different options. So here I have a collection of different clips and these are from all around the map and I jumbled them up to give us a little visual flair as well, a visual variety. So I have all these raw ones that are just isolated clips and I've uh, trimmed them all so that the sound effect starts right when it cuts to the clip. So right now they're just raw clips. like that. But then we have our music clip. And here I have a track from where I get all my music, Stream Beats. So right on that kick drum and snare, this guy. That is where we are going to cut to each of these different clips. Now you could just manually drag the clips over and look at the waveform and sync them up, but there is one tool I wanna to recommend for anyone working in DaVinci Resolve. Anytime you're on the timeline, if you press M, you will create a marker at that point. And you have some info here, and you can even pull up different settings like annotations, and you can draw on screen for your marker, all sorts of different cool stuff. But here's the really powerful thing. If you have a marker set and you have snapping on, which you can turn on and off by clicking this little magnet here, then both your playhead and any clips will snap to that marker. An important note different too, when you are playing your footage, at any time, you can click M to drop a marker exactly where the playhead was at that moment. So I'm gonna clear these out. And what we're gonna do, I'm going to listen along with this song and just tap the M key on every beat where I will want to eventually cut. Cool. And then next, especially on a track like this where the beats are still pretty clear in the waveform, I'm going to do a really quick cleanup pass and I can just drag these markers to where I can tell that nearest beat really starts. Most of these will be pretty close, especially once I got on it a little bit. And this will also be easy to clean up after the fact, but if there's anything egregious that you spot, you can sort that out now. So I have these clips I know I want to use. I'm going to drag them over. And then when I zoom in, with my snapping on, I'm just going to start bringing over the clips and you'll see that they will snap right to those markers. So I can see it snaps to this marker here. All right, like that. And then I'm actually going to extend this clip to the next marker. 
and just do that with all of my clips, either shortening or extending them as needed to get to that next marker. <laughs> Cool, and then we can play through our footage. Cool, that's great. And there is just one moment here that I know falls a little bit late. And so on this, you can just pull over either the marker first. Remember, you can toggle on and off snapping with the, this shortcut or N. So I just want this a few frames earlier so I can pull that individual clip up so it lands a little better right on the beat. Awesome. And then just to give us a little flair on intro, I'm actually going to extend this first clip back so you have three hits in a row here, but this actually kicks off this whole sequence. I'll add a little fade in for flair too. Cool. Maybe one more. I want one more at the end, right? Yeah, yeah. Cool. And that is my quick tip for editing on the beat in DaVinci Resolve. Of course, like I said, you can always line these up manually, but I think this method of dropping in markers, especially when you're able to just listen through and set points that you can easily snap through, I think it's pretty great. But that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is a little bit of a quicker video, and I know I am going to hit on watch time. So if you appreciate the video, feel free to like the video, leave a comment below, especially for any other quick videos that you would like me to do. I am also recording this video without a face camera because recording with a face camera takes a little bit extra energy so this is this is a big experiment but if it's helpful to you please let me know i would love to start cranking out these sort of quicker one-off videos that i know will be helpful to a lot of editors thanks for watching i'll see you next time